and howdy guys so uh, this is going to be the final video in the series and this uh, video we're answering the question what are the three things you would suggest this client to do currently engaged in cost per impression user acquisition in france in order to upsell and scale the account limit yourself to 100 words max so uh, what they're really asking is based off of this data what would you suggest the client to do now in order to answer this question I, uh, I'd also like to kind of run through with you guys the, uh, the, the feature of custom, um, custom filters on the dashboard level. So Metabase has an awesome feature uh, which allows you to set filters on the questions and then, and then after that on the, um, uh, on the dashboard level. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys an example of a custom filter over here. Because if you remember, in this question, we manually put in where sum is greater than zero. What was sum in this case? This was uh, the, the sum of deposits, right? So make sure that everything is, uh, is equal, where the sum of deposits, instead of manually putting that zero in there, let me make that a little bit bigger for you guys where the sum of deposits is greater than zero. In this case, I want to do where the sum of deposits is greater than a given variable, okay? Uh, this is uh, min sum of deposits, okay? And I'm going to say this, this, and you see, as I started putting that syntax in, it gave me this little box on top. And now, if um, I'm going to go ahead and say, what's this variable type? This is actually a number variable type. And I'm going to say, sum of deposits is greater than zero. I press enter. And then it only shows me the records where the sum of deposits is greater than zero. So that's awesome. That works. I press save. If I go back into, um, into the dashboard now, I can also add that filter that I just created into the actual dashboard. So I go edit dashboard and I say, add a filter. And this is a other category filter. Uh, what's what? How do I want to name this filter? I'm going to do call it min sum of deposits, and that relates to this min sum of deposits. And I press done, and I press save, and then I do. Ooh, okay, fine. This is important. Uh, there should be a, a default value over there, but I, maybe it comes up anyways. Let me reload the page and see see if everything works okay no it doesn't work because i also need a uh, a default value there okay min sum of deposits edit enter a default value zero okay done and save and then i reload the page let's see if it works this time hmm. okay for some reason it does not work sum of deposits per sub publisher okay maybe on this i need to set uh the default value over here filter widget Required, yes, it's required. Default widget value is zero. Okay, and I press save, save. Okay, go back into the into the dashboard, see if it loads. Okay, cool. Everything loaded. Now I just need to go ahead and uh, and turn it into a bar chart again. Mm, okay, x axis. Oh, Schnikes. Okay, sum of deposits per sub publisher. Okay, cool. That worked. Go back. Bar chart. And perfect. Okay, so now uh, everything is working over here. I press save because I need to save it as a bar chart. I press save and I'm going to go ahead and reload my dashboard over here. And everything works. Okay, so min sum of deposits. I want to see, show me only the sources with at least three deposits. I press enter. And now I only see the sources with at least three deposits. All right, so that's that's the power of custom filters in, in Metabase. And the nice thing about it is I already have the custom filter on this question um, and on the dashboard as a whole. But if I want to uh, apply this filter to all three questions, I just need to add that variable to the other questions as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my other questions and where the sum and I'm going to add that variable over there where sum equals um, where sum is greater than uh, min sum of deposits okay I put in a default value default value is going to be zero okay make sure that everything works over here 
Okay, cool. Uh, turn it into a bar chart over here as well to make it cleaner. A bar chart. Okay, cool. Everything looks good. Uh, underperforming sub publishers. Order by number of clicks. Uh, min sum of deposits. Okay. Min sum of deposits. Um, hmm. Okay, maybe we re we need to rethink this. Where sum equals. Well, you know what? Maybe in this case we shouldn't have it. Uh, whatever. In this case, let's let's just keep it as is. Um, hmm. That's why you have to really, really think think through how you're going to make this as intuitive as possible. Let's go into the assignment here. Min sum of deposits equals three to depo five deposits. I press enter. It should also uh, populate these other these other uh, tables as well. Okay. Min sum of deposits. Hmm. Min sum of deposits. That's why sometimes you don't you you need to think through which which uh which filters should be hard coded and which one should be on a top level. Okay, this one is underperforming sub publishers where the sum of deposits equals zero. Um let's see. Okay, where sum equals zero uh, and and some deposits some is greater than okay cool uh, so that that automatically turns it to zero okay <sighs> where sum equals zero okay whatever it's good enough as it is in this case I don't think we should have a specific variable for that I think we've already got enough information to really analyze the data at this point but I just wanted to show you guys this this feature over here maybe we should add it to the third question over here let's look at the third highest converting sub publishers with at least three deposits Okay, with at least, uh, we can rename this with at least, okay, this is going to be easier, with at least X deposits. Okay, sum of deposits is greater than, over here, min underscore sum of deposits. And required, we're going to put the default value as zero. We're going to press enter. And okay, cool. Deposits conversion rate. Everything is good. We're going to press save. Save. Go back into our dashboard. And now, now that we created a filter on that third question, we can edit this filter over there. And we want to uh, set that filter to align to this, to also uh, correlate to this filter on this question as well. And I'm going to press done and save. And the client can really do his own analysis at this point, uh, right? Over here we see the sum of deposits is one, 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 one. I don't, I, I don't want any of these records where the sum of deposits was only one. I want it where the sum of deposits was at least three. And now that'll also reflect over here as well. All right, guys. So then I can go ahead and continue analyzing the data, and uh, that's how we set filters on the um, the question level and also on the dashboard. After we set it on the question level, we set it on the dashboard level as well. And users can intuitively just set filters over there and it'll reflect on the entire dashboard. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial of how to uh, take CSV data, upload it to Metabase, run analysis on Metabase with a visual query builder and uh, with Metabase custom filters and the sorting features and custom SQL syntax. If you have any questions or need any help uh, along the way, feel free to reach out. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Best of luck to you and have an amazing, amazing day.